Forge stuff. Oh, wow. Y'all, this is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. When I see properties like this, it don't matter if they're abandoned or if somebody lives there, I try to make sure that they're cut. These are the ones, y'all. These are the properties that really scare me when it comes to children, when it comes to neighbors that are elders and that can't get away from different insects and snakes and stuff like that. These are the yards that really worry me, all right? Just for the community's sake, just for the neighbor's sake, all right? This yard is covered in tall grass. It's not super tall, but it's nice and thick, and it's at least shin high. It's up to my ankles in all areas of this front yard. Now I see more than three no trespassing signs, y'all. They're everywhere. So obviously this homeowner is not joking about trespassing over here. They don't want nobody trespassing. So what we are going to do, we're gonna show up here early tomorrow morning and we're only gonna do the front yard. If somebody that owns this property approaches us then, then we will speak to them at that time. We will go ahead and deal with whatever they might bring towards us but i always bring positive energy to these properties that i'm working on especially the no trespassing properties i'm there just to clean up things so if the owner wants to come by and wonder what i'm doing here and say hey you see those signs i'll take it on because i'll show them that hey i'm here to help you you don't owe me anything i just really want to help this community out and you have elders you have children that's walking to their bus stops every day we're not in the summertime yet and it's even worse in the summertime because then kids are playing on these very streets. They're not just passing the property. They're spending time in front of the property in the street playing for numerous hours. And they're curious. Kids are curious. They want to touch things that's crawling around. Who knows what's living in this grass? But I know once I bust into it, snakes are going to scatter everywhere. Rats, all type of stuff lives in this grass. All right. So we're not going to deal with this anymore. And Fort Pierce, whoever the homeowner is, I'm not mad at you. I'm just here to help you. OK, so we're going to show up tomorrow bright and early at eight o'clock and we're going to hop out here and cut the grass. We got a lot to do, y'all, with only just the front yard. We got a lot to do but we're gonna get it done. We got a whole driveway that is overgrown. We're gonna get that sharpened up with the edger. I know y'all miss me popping out the edger, don't y'all? I miss using the edger myself. So we're gonna edge up this whole driveway real, get it real nice and crisp. We're gonna get the yard cut with the mower. And how about this? A lot of y'all been asking me like, AP, where you get that mower from? That mower is cutting down anything in this path. Do you know why it is? because Joshua gave me that mower through the kindness of his heart and with God and his spirit. So we're gonna name that mower Joshua's Mower. I'm hoping that I can put it into the new release of the video game as a tool for y'all to use to get down that tall grass and kill those grass monsters. How about that? But that is gonna be named Joshua's Mower. All right, we're gonna pop out here and get that grass cut with Joshua's Mower. Hopefully we can make some stripe show. What y'all think? Y'all think we can make some stripe show? Well, we're gonna try to, how about that? It's gonna be a real fun one, y'all. Let's get ready for it, all right? It's gonna be real fun. All right, y'all, so this is what we're working with on this side. Um, this yard is not really big, but we have this side of the yard, we have the driveway, then we have the other side of the yard. So we're gonna cut this up and clean it. Um, the grass is not too high, but it's just nasty grass. As y'all can see, it's covering my shins. So, and it's compressed too. If it was lifted up, it would be tall. But we're gonna uh, clean this yard up, at least the front yard. Remember, we're not gonna do the backyard, just the front yard. Um, we have a little bit of trash to pick up. We have some trimming to do on some of these trees. So uh, come check out this side. This is the crazy side. Do y'all see this? This yard is out of control, man. Um, I wonder when the last time it was cut. The beautiful front yard. There's a bougainvillea tree behind me. There's, it, it just, we're gonna clean this up. We're gonna make sure it looks good before we head out of here, all right? But enough of me talking. It's time to work, y'all. Oh, 
Good, how you doing? Can I speak with you for a second? Yeah. My legs are bad. My bad. Uh, Come to you. Oh, he might be. I don't know. Well, I'm just doing the front yard, and I'm gonna get out of here. This front yard just looked ridiculous, man. It looked like somebody cut it before, but this looked like new growth uh, right here. Uh, it was cut before Christmas last year. And then it grew up to this, huh? And then, you know, we were dry all Chris, you know, all winter long. It wasn't bad, but... You know, when this season comes, it's crazy. It just a couple of days of rain, this yard went <laughs> Yeah, that's all it takes. That's yeah. all it takes. But um, I appreciate it. What's your name? I'm Jim. Jim, nice to meet you. I'm AP. YouTube? I love your YouTube? shirt, too. Huh? YouTube? Yeah, if you look on YouTube for Clean the City, that's the name of my nonprofit. And you can see this video I'm releasing Sunday night. Yeah, I, I got into watching the videos because trying to get somebody to do my yard consistently. Consistently, yeah. That's the hardest thing. Oh. It's like people don't want to show up. People, it's just like, come on, man. Like, we made a deal. Like, you yeah. would think, and that's, that's the thing. When Al had to stop his yards, yeah. his clients were so sad because Al came every week like clockwork every yeah. week and he, he did it. and I helped him out with when, when he was doing client yards I helped him out with his business so I knew I was like man I know your clients gonna be sad if you ever stop man because you make sure you maintain their yards on a weekly basis so I, I used to do it yeah. I used to maintain the yards but I, I it's hard man yeah it's and hard and that's why we get out here and do this because we like to help the elderly sick and disabled you know people that are less fortunate and that can't get around in their yards like that anymore. Everybody want to do it, but it's being realistic. Everybody can't do it. They always are happy to know that I'm helping them out with their property. This is so. actually a sad story about this house. Yes, sir. Forged stuff oh, to move into the house. Wow. They destroy it. It's this deep in crap in the house. Yes, sir. Wow. The father lives down at. 1209, right? Mm-hmm. They kill him. You serious? Dead serious. That's why both yards are fucking the way they are. Uh, Forged his name to the, uh, oh yeah, we've got permission to live here. Everybody was under that oppression. Hmm. And then, of course, they got kicked out. They took care of the yard. But their father was taking care of it because he was... This is their sister's house. Yes, sir. She passes away, and it was given to, you know, she left it to her older her older brother in New York. Yes, sir. And the younger brother was taking care of it. That is crazy, dude. And then they went, went in there, was trying to find his money, and they he came home and caught him ram, ram sacking the house, and they killed him. Wow. Let me get into this yard, man. Yeah, I appreciate you doing this. No man. problem, man. Th once again, thank you for uh, stopping and talking to me so I can be more aware of what I'm getting into. Yeah, just be careful around that. That's... The yeah, Bougainvillea. I've heard several times around that, that transit from the hell that thing called. Okay. If you need me, just come holler at me, then. Yeah, just be careful. Okay. Thank you again, man. And yeah, thank you. No problem. Anytime. Hey, I'm, well, oh yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. All right, y'all. So we're going to shave up this Bougainvillea. The neighbor just came and talked to me. Shout out to the neighbor. He said, be careful because there was a rattlesnake up here. A big, long rattlesnake stretched across the garage, the front of the garage. So he just wanted me to be careful. Um, that's why I like for neighbors to come speak to me while I'm doing yards because they know more about the properties in their neighborhoods than I do. I just stop by and I find overgrown properties. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. So um, shout out to the neighbor for coming by and letting me know what's going on with the yard before I get too deep off in it. Let's get back to it.
Yes, ma'am. You're doing a good job. Thank so, you. So, like, did they just leave it to go bad? Um, I had a neighbor that just came out and told me that it was a bad story behind this house. Um, oh, gave up the information. Know. So uh, I, I couldn't believe when that neighbor just told me that. But what, really what I do, uh -huh. my name is Aramis, by the way. Uh -huh. um, I have a nonprofit organization in Florida where I go around and I clean up overgrown yards for the sick, elderly, and disabled. If I can't find anybody uh, in those lines, I just, you know, young people also need help too. So I go around and I just clean up the city. That's the name of my nonprofit, uh, Clean the City. So I receive donations and then I also take a lot of my profits and I self fund my uh, nonprofit organization. You're smart. A lot, of my, um, a lot of my supporters on YouTube are elderly and they're living on fixed income. So it's hard for them to donate. Mm -hmm. So I take my profits and I donate. Some of them do, they, they donate here and there, but mm -hmm. so we come together. Mm -hmm. And we help, you know, run my nonprofit. So it's me that and my subscribers. Yeah. That so I try to do this and I try to connect with people just like yourself mm -hmm. because I can't see everything. So now that I told you what I do, I have a nonprofit website, cleanthecity.net. And then on YouTube, you can just look up Clean the City and you'll see me with a green hat and a coverall on. Um, keep in touch with me from here on out. If you know anybody that needs help, please let me know. So what about do you? like have people help you do it um as of right now not really you don't have enough um i it's not that i don't have enough but it's about um being able to work with other people okay. that's very hard you know uh a lot of people think it's just so um simple to just uh work with other people but it's sometimes it, it, you gotta you gotta hope and pray like i started off doing this with my best friend and we're both like on the same accord so no matter what we know that we come in to do one thing and that's it but sometimes other people especially a lot of people have been asking to work with me but they may be wanting to work with me for the wrong reasons because okay. i'm almost at a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube a lot of people are wanting to work with me for popularity okay. for it so that's why it's also hard so i try to really I try to pick those people that don't know anything about my YouTube channel or anything. I'm like, you are the right one because you want to help me just because you want to help. You don't even know I'm recording for a YouTube video. You don't know none of that. So I have to really just pick through the weeds, no pun intended, <laughs> and I have to find the right people to help me out because some people are just doing it for the wrong reasons. Gotcha. Yes, ma'am. But um, you're doing a good job. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, Maybe you know the city can. I mean, because the they city don't do it. The city will find people. That's why I also do it because the city will. If your grass gets to a certain height, they come and they make it a public nuisance mm -hmm. and then they fine you for having tall grass and if yeah. you can't if you can't get it cut how you gonna pay a fine no but i'm saying if you're doing it then if the city pay you oh a lot of people been telling me that the, you'll be keeping the community you know but they don't the thing is the city is uh making money off of these properties the fine. through the fine so if i eliminate that they probably, I'm already making them look bad as it is because I'm coming and cleaning up properties that they're deeming uh, public nuisances. Yeah, I own the property. Oh, you just gave me an idea. See? Ah! Ah! Thank you for stopping. Okay. You have a good day. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah.
out. so might as well use it. Never let aloe go to waste.
I'm almost there. Oh, cool. But uh, he said, man, if you want to go back there and. I can do the back too? You can do the back if you okay. want and you can take all the fruit you want. Look at that. So, Look at that. Look at that, man. What should, man, come on, man. You can see the banana trees from here. I don't know if the other one over here by the. There's a, oh, yeah, I see it. A shed in the back and it had one about this big and it looked like it was about to start get ready to start producing. Okay. I can't believe we can see the flower bed. Ain't that crazy? I, I just I, abandoned I, anymore. Ooh, that breeze feel good. Doesn't it? Alright, let me take a break. Well, anyway, the
How you doing? I'm just cleaning it up. Huh? I don't know who's on it is. Actually, I have a nonprofit organization where I go around Florida and I cut overgrown yards. I'm not sure if they're selling it. Um, a family went through some troubles that live here. So I'm thinking that they're going to sell it, but it's not for sale yet. Um, I wish I could give you some information, man, but I have no information on it. I just stumbled across it and I'm cutting it.
Hey, how you doing? Yeah, okay, thank you. So, uh, can you give me who is the owner? I don't, I don't know. You don't know? Who no. I don't know. I just do this service for free. You the third person free? that has come by free? to see if it's for sale. I don't know. You do for free? Yeah. Why you do for free? I have a nonprofit organization where I go around and clean up yeah. overgrown properties and I get donations. So. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate it. So um, how, we, how we can... This, you see that peach colored house? Uh -huh. He knows the owner. Oh. He came to me today and um, I spoke to him earlier. And I was going to do the backyard too, but when I saw all those no trespasser signs, I was like, I'll just do the front. So how can I find you so you can go cut my grass? Um, you can find me. I have a YouTube channel. Have it? And I have um, a nonprofit website as well. So how can I get that? Um, can, I can give you my number if okay. you want my number. Yes. So we can call you anytime or how? Yeah, you can call me anytime. My name is AP. AP? Yes, so ma'am. How much is the donation? Uh, you don't either you make a donate you can make how many how much you want as a donation Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Thank you. Hello Look at that. We got the green grass, man. He ain't got no legs, though. I'm gonna take him in. <laughs> Ooh. All right, y'all. Ooh, that grass was getting all in my nose. We are done. There's another one down in the books, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this premiere. I love this yard because a lot of people came out to talk to me. And that's what I love about this. I love communicating with the people in the community. It's always what helps me continue the mission because I've had two people that I ran into give me a, another yard to do for the following week. So it's about getting out here, touching base with the community and speaking about what I do. Not only do I need y'all help, but I need people's help in my own community to help me get to the people that need help. This man living here. I know y'all heard the story, man. I'm not gonna go back into it, but it's a deep, dark story. And he talked to the owner, the neighbor that was talking to me earlier, y'all. He talked to the uh, owner and the owner said it is okay for me to do the back. So it looks like this is a part one. This is a part one. We're going to be doing the backyard for next week's premiere. All right. So I hope y'all enjoyed this premiere, man. Y'all already know the motto. Do something kind for somebody today. Be the difference and continue to erase the stereotype. If somebody judged you today, yesterday, or if you're going to be judged in the future, always remember that nobody's opinions define who you are. You define who you are through your actions. All right? I love y'all, and I'm tired. Time to go. Oh, well, not done yet. Not done yet. I want to say thank you to all of my lovely subscribers and donors who have been donating to the nonprofit we have reached enough to take care of grandma's fence. How about that? Give yourselves a pat on the back. I couldn't have done it without y'all. So I'm gonna be looking for the service now. Um, I was gonna have somebody come out and look at the fence earlier, but I didn't have all the funds together and I didn't wanna waste anybody's time. So now that y'all donated enough to take care of grandma's fence, hey, we're gonna go ahead and get it done. So stay tuned for that as well, all right? All right, now we're done. Let's get into this reveal.